Yeah, for uh, NHS is a student-run project, uh, mainly anchored by uh, school, the School of Medicine. Uh, our main aim will always be to reconnect residents uh, who have fallen through the gaps of healthcare back to the healthcare. I'm Yushin. <laughs> I'm year two medical student of Yong Nunin School of Medicine. Uh, I'm the current head of NHS, which stands for Neighbourhood Health Service. And uh, we are the 13th batch uh, since it started. We start planning by like November for the next year's screening. I saw a lot of back-end meetings, uh, discovering the direction of NHS, uh, affirming relationship with partners and everything. Then finally, it comes to the screening day. They'll come down, uh, so then they'll have their registration done. Yeah, and then they will be paired up one-on-one -on -one with a volunteer. I think to have a very good listening ear and have someone to really just like fully express everything that you wanted to express to someone in one shot within like a two hours, three hours, right? A lot of them don't even have that privilege. Hi, I'm Brian, a first year medical student. Uh, so I'm part of the follow-up committee for NHS. NHS is not just a one-off screening, so we pride ourselves on being a follow-up kind of system. We managed to visit a resident who, have been, who has been flagged out during our screening. I didn't realise how so happy, so, so, so happy she would be um, with us in our house. We were supposed to be there at two. She waited since one o'clock for us to come. She did talk about how, how much she misses her husband, who passed away like seven years ago. Financially, she's struggling. And yet, after all this, she tells all the tragic things that she has happened to life. And then she's smiling. She's loving us. She really, she really kept saying that, oh, no matter what, I do not, I do not want to burden people. Uh, I'll, do, I'll do anything. Uh, I'll just laugh. Lah. It's okay. Uh, I'll take care of myself. I don't want to get people to help. I really cannot imagine living her life. Like, I, I don't think any, any of us privileged kids in this generation can really empathise with what she has gone through. Personally, I volunteered for NHS because uh, the one of the districts that NHS is serving this year is Kampong Glam, which is actually where I grew up and uh, where my Akong still stays at. For let's say Kampong Glam in general, I do feel that there is a larger proportion of lonely residents. He started telling me about his very rapid weight loss, uh, about his very, 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 very serious migraines. He can be at home lying in bed for three days straight, two times a week, just because he cannot get up and the moment he gets up, he needs to vomit. I just cannot imagine like being in his shoes. Like, he has a job, but there are times where he just cannot even get out of bed. Then how can he even go and work? And I really just wish that he would listen to me. I've convinced him, tried to talk to him, to go and tell him to see a doctor. Finally, he said yes, he's going to see the doctor this Thursday and then he promised that he will go and he said that it's okay as long as I bring him along. I'll tell you upfront that NHS is, is tough. I think I've said NHS more than I've said my own name or called my mom's name. I think it has definitely changed me to be someone who is more empathetic. People can just say that a lot of it is just words, but until you really step into their lives and talk to them one for one on one and hear their stories, I don't think anyone can really understand like, how they feel. Hello, Hello. Hi, Hello. It takes time for you to understand anybody. So it takes time for you to connect with the resident. I know I'm a very privileged person. I've grown up in a very nice household. These residents that we are serving, right, is they may not have such privileges. We're not helping the poor, no. We're really just helping normal people lead their lives and fulfill what, whatever dreams that all of us have as well. They need something to, to get back to that level ground.